Okay, so welcome everybody one more time. This is another video tutorial with the DR880. And we got a question here from Guitarded. We could check it out. Okay, that was two weeks ago. It says, how to make 13 measures or more in one pattern. That will be the question. I can only make 12 measures if I add one measure or more is not being played. Okay, no problem. And this is the video tutorial for you, Guitarded. And here we go. Thank you so much for writing, though. God bless you. You could record more than, than 13 as long as you have space or room in, in your memory or in the machine. Most likely, this is what happens. As you can see here, we got four, like up to here we got four. And to verify this, we just go here to the right pointing direction button. And as you can see, we get to, we got to four. So we don't have anything else. We can't go any further. So that means that this song or this pattern has only four measures, right? To go to the beginning, you just put this. To move it around, you go like that. It doesn't matter. Now. If I start recording, if I want to record over it, or if I want to make, if I want to erase what I have here and make a new one, it's only going to record it to four. Then it's going to go back to one. So it's going to loop. When it ends on four, it's going to loop back to one. Okay. So most likely what happens is that you got a pattern or song with 12, and it's stopping on 12, and it's looping back to number one. That's the only thing that I could find, like, logical here. So all you have to do just, you could use any pattern. doesn't really matter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to save this one, but I'm going to erase everything. Or I, I could erase and then save. doesn't really matter. Okay, so all we do is just go edit, pattern, and we're just going to copy. Uh, right. No, not copy. Sorry. Edit. And here we're going to copy. Okay current which means is this one and we're gonna go source it's gonna be one so it's gonna be like the first four i guess number of measures sorry number of measures right here which is four destination is gonna be on five because that's where we want to drop them on number five okay we're gonna record all the parts not record them we're gonna copy them all the parts copy times we're gonna copy this um four measures we're gonna copy them four times so that way we have a total of 16. copy them not four times three times so we have a total of, of 16 because we already have four plus four plus four plus four that'll make it up to 16. and i believe that'll be it we're gonna it says here replace you can leave it like that because since there's nothing to replace, what it's going to do is going to create new ones. Okay. And here we go. You just press here, enter. And that's it. Now we got 16. And if we count them, you could check them out here if you want to count them. There you go. So we got a total of 16. If you want to cut back to 13, all you have to do is just delete the last ones so that way you have up to 13 and that'll be basically it now we just save let's let's um erase we have uh the number 16 let's erase and then we can save it so we go edit pattern let's go edit uh not delete because if you delete it's going to delete the whole thing the whole all the measures so better erase, so that way what you're erasing is the patterns in case that that's something that you want to do. Okay? So that way we, we don't have any sounds. So all we do, just hit enter. Destination measure, number of measures. So the destination is one, the number of measures is going to be all 16. And that's it. The parts, all the parts. In case that you have bass and you have drums, so it's going to be all the parts. 
So here you could choose if you want, just want to delete the bass and the drums all or which part of the drums you want to erase. Okay. Or here we just leave it on all on all because in case that we have any any bass around and all the drum parts and bass so they're going to be gone. And we just press enter and that's it. We're good to go. Now if we hit play, there's nothing but we still have the measures here. Okay, so all we got to do just save it to a user location because you cannot overwrite the presets from the machine. So you got to save it on a user location. So what we do is edit, we're going to, I'm sorry, pattern, and we're going to go to right, directly right here. Enter, and here is going to take us to user location. Now here, just be aware that it's going to overwrite whatever you have on user location 001. So if you don't want to overwrite, overwrite anything, just move it to a blank one. Right here. Okay. This one right here. So there's nothing, let's say, um, what you call it? There's no name, so most likely it's empty. So just make sure that is actually empty. You hit enter. And just wait a little bit. Like always, this takes a little bit of time. Okay. So it got written to number 18, right? And we're good to go. We're ready to record. Now it's empty. If you hit play, there's nothing. But we have the numbers of measures that exceed uh, 12 in order for you to record more than 12. Okay, so you could record even more. Just be aware that the machine only has certain capacity. You cannot save a whole bunch because then it's going to get to a point that's going to say... Um, memory full or something like that okay so now that we got all the 16 and it's empty as you can see we hit play there's nothing you go stop you go to this button right here that's pointing to the left so we'll go to the start and now we could record our pattern I'm just going to record something random doesn't really matter just for demo purposes And that's it. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Obviously, I went over over six when I went to when I got to sixteen. It went over, so that's why I did the the fill on the fill got recorded on, on number one. Anyway, that'll be about it for this video tutorial. Hopefully it works for you. It could help you. If you have any other comments, you know, this was just randomly um, done. Thank you so much for watching the video. One more time, thank you, Guitarde, for your comment. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe. God bless.